Hello guys, and in this video is gonna cover some interpolation basics. And first, I'm gonna go over the the general meaning of the formula. So x is usually gonna be the property that is given to you. In well, x l, which in my case means x lower, is the property which is usually evaluated either at the lower temperature or, the, or pressure and XU or X upper it's evaluated at the higher temperature of pressure. Usually we're trying to find Y which is the property of interest and here YL means uh, the lower property at a at the lower temperature of pressure and YU means the property evaluated at the higher temperature or pressure. So for all of these examples I'm going to be using H2O and this is going to be table A4 so if you guys can go to those tables in order for you guys to follow these examples uh, more easily. So the first example I'm going to go through is going to be finding uh, enthalpy at 220 degrees Celsius at a pressure of 5 bar. So the overall formula is going to be T minus TL over TU minus TL is equal to H minus HL over HU minus HL. So this is going to be the only time I'm going to write this formula in order for to save time. So I'm going to basically use this formula in every single interpolation I do from now on. So in this case our T upper is going to be 240 degrees Celsius and T lower is going to be 200 degrees Celsius and the H is, is just going to be HU at 240 and HL is going to be we're going to take it from the tables at 200 degrees Celsius so this should give us the following equation which is going to be 220 minus 200 or 240 minus 200 is equal to H minus 2855.4 over 2939.9 minus 2008.4. Alright, so by solving this equation, we should end up with an H of 2897.65 kilojoules per kilogram. So, this is going to be our answer, and notice that this was an example of inter relation between two temperatures. So now I'm going to do an example of interpolation between two pressures. So we're going to evaluate H at T is equal to 200 degrees Celsius at a pressure of 5 bar, I mean 6 bar. So in a similar fashion it's going to be our P minus P lower over P upper minus P lower is equal to H minus H lower over H upper minus H lower which is going to be 6 minus 5 over 7 minus 5 is equal to H minus 2855.4 over 2844.8 minus 2855.4 and by solving for H we should end up with 2850.1 kilojoules per kilogram so I want you you to notice from these two examples that whenever we do an interpolation between temperatures we usually compare this way in a vertical uh, direction in order to find a 
property between two temperatures and whenever we want to find properties across pressures we usually go this way so that's something to keep in mind and also whenever you're interpolating your value your final answer should be sitting between these two values which is you can see this value sits in between those and in a similar fashion this value also sits between these two values so we are sure that our answer is correct because if you end up with a higher or lower value in compared to these two values uh, you probably did something wrong in your calculations so now I'm gonna move on to double interpolation so sorry about this so we're gonna do double interpolation now double interpolation. Okay. so now we're gonna try to find H at temperature 220 degrees Celsius and pressure equal to 6 bar so here we can go to routes um, we can interpolate first the temperatures and then interpolate the pressures or interpolate first the pressures and then move on to the temperatures so I'm gonna first do this one but I'm gonna do both just to show you guys that regardless of which pad you take you should end up with the same answer so by doing temperatures first uh, I'm gonna evaluate everything for 220 degrees Celsius so I'm gonna first evaluate everything at P equals 5 bar so by holding this as the constant pressure for this set of values is going to be 220 minus 200 over 240 minus 200 is equal to H minus 2855.4 and if you guys notice this is an exercise we just did so I'm going to Go really quickly over it. So 2897.65 kilojoules per kilogram. And something I like to do is to keep track of whether this is my H lower or H upper. And since I evaluated at the pressure lower, which is 5 bar, because my pressure upper pressure is going to be 7 bar. Um, I like to keep track of this being H lower so this is gonna be my H lower so now I'm gonna hold 7 bars my constant over this interpolation so I'm in a similar fashion I do 220 minus 200 divided by 240 minus 200 is equal to H minus 2844.8 and 2932.2 minus 2844.8 and I should end up with an H of 2888.5 kilojoules kilograms so since this is evaluated on my upper pressure this is going to be my upper H so let's just make sure that the value sits in between these two and it does and in this one it also sits in between so we can proceed to the next step so now the next step is gonna be combining using this H upper and H lower but now in this case we're gonna interpolate using the pressure so quick reminder our pressure is 6 bars so 6 minus 5 over 7 minus 5 is equal to 
h minus our h lower, which is this value. So 2,897.65 over 1,888.5, which is our upper h minus 2897.65. So our age should end up being 2,893.075 kilojoules per kilogram. So this is going to be our final answer. And I'm just going to repeat this exercise, but uh, this time I'm going to start first with the pressures. So for the pressures, I'm going to first do my T lower being 200 degrees Celsius and my T upper being 240 degrees Celsius. So first, I'm going to evaluate everything at T equal to 200 degrees Celsius, which is going to be 6 minus 5. Just a quick reminder, I mean, I in this exercise, I'm going to interpolate the pressures first, and then I'm going to interpolate the temperatures. So H minus This is just uh, one of our previous exercises. So H is equal to 284. 2.1 kilojoules per kilogram and since this is my lower temperature this is going to be my lower H so this is our, my first H now evaluate everything at T upper which is 240 degrees Celsius so 6 bar minus 5 bar 7 bar minus 5 bar is equal to H upper minus 1939.9 minus 2939.9 and my H upper should end up being 1936.0 Kilojoules, kilojoules, kilojoules per kilogram. So this is gonna be my H upper, and now I'm gonna interpolate to get the properties at 220 degrees Celsius. So I do 220 minus 200 over 240 minus 200 is equal to H minus H lower which is this value 2850.1 so 50.1 over my H upper which is that so I solve for H and I get 2,893.075 kilojoules per kilogram. So this is going to be my final answer for the H. And if you guys notice, I actually got exactly the same answer. So it doesn't matter which route you go first. Uh, you should end up with the same answer. So I guess the question is which one is more convenient and the answer for that is will be um, I will personally prefer to do the interpolation that has the easiest values to deal with all so to say that the values that do not have decimals and so on and then do the interpolation on the more little numeric complicated value and that should be a little quicker route compared to doing the interpolations on the more a slightly more complicated numerical value so uh, this concludes the interpolation video and 
I hope you guys enjoy it and find it helpful and have a nice day.